Hi everyone, my name is Kuhai James Nicole and welcome to another episode of our Sims Free Play Let's Play. Today we're going to concentrate on the Hidden Unicorn quest. So this quest becomes available at level 14. There is a time limit to this quest, I think it's 6 days, and it will unlock the show jumping hobby and unicorn, and the limited time prize is a unicorn rocking horse. So it says a magnificent beast has appeared in Simtown. Follow the magical unicorn and the show jumping hobby will be yours. So we were going to add a new sim to this town because as usual if you comment down below with your favourite YouTubers I can maybe add them into the town because this is our YouTuber Sims Free Play town. So we will add somebody else in to the town in this episode but let's go ahead and look there's the uh, rock and horse cute and show jumping yeah so there we go the first oh no there's three days for this quest definitely I think I said in the last episode with the it's all going swimmingly quest I feel like that has definitely changed since I did it and I feel this one has changed well because I'm pretty sure that it was six days last time I did this hobby so some of the tasks will have changed since last time I did it. So here we go. So we've got three days and it says inspect show jumping gate. Your sims have been hankering to do some show jumping and the field to the right of the stables would be the perfect place. Investigate the lock on the gate at the stables. Okay, so Dan, Dan and Minecart and Stampy are just having a little swim there. If you didn't see uh, the all going from only quest. That's what they're doing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head to the stables. And for now, we'll just start. We'll start off. Who should we use? Hmm. We'll go ahead. We'll just use Pudes to start off with. And we'll add another YouTuber in in a second. So here is the lock over here. We've got three different areas at the stables. The show jumping one, which is that one over there. And then trip. Is that one tricks? I can't remember. Not quite sure. But anyway, uh, what did we have to do? <laughs> Inspect the show jumping gate. The show jumping gate is this one. Oh, there we go. Inspect show jumping gate. <laughs> Just click on it. It wasn't green, so I didn't think I could click on it. Inspect show jumping gate. Done. Okay, so show jumping gate requirement is a hidden unicorn quest needs to be complete, and you need to be at level. 14. This is the show jumping paddock. Once it has been cleared and fixed, you can teach your horse to leap over hurdles with grace and poise. Note, three star horses are required for this hobby. Unlock them by completing the vaulting hobby. Okay, so I feel like I definitely should have unlocked these areas over here already. I'm pretty sure that was a thing that I should have done. But anyway, investigate horse. Your sim doesn't know who opened the gate, but it's going to take incredible power to open it. Wait, is that a horse near the lake? What's it doing over there? Have a sim investigate the horse near the lake at the stables. Okay, where is the lake? Here's the lake. Oh, look. Ooh, it's a unicorn. Investigate the horse. That takes 14 seconds. So I'll just do these sort of quick tasks to begin with, with pudes. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make a new sim. Because I feel like I don't really want to waste any time because we've only got three days to do this quest. Here he comes, in his cool shirt and short combo. <laughs> Let's continue. So the next thing, check unicorn's horn. Your sim can't believe their eyes. Is it a unicorn? A real, live, sparkly unicorn. Have your sims check its horn to make sure it's real. Okay, inspect horn takes 24 seconds. All of these things are quick tasks, so Pewds might just end up doing this whole <laughs> quest, to be honest. We shall wait and see. Aww. Checking the unicorn's horn is done. I think he confirms that it's real. <laughs> Talk to unicorn. Wow, that's definitely a real unicorn. It looks like it has something to say. So talk to it. Okay, we will talk to the unicorn. Okay, that, that takes two minutes. That might give us enough time just to head out and make a new sim. I have no space to add in a new sim, so I'm going to go ahead and start building... A house. I haven't actually got many simoleons. With LPs I'm doing quite well but simoleons I haven't got that many. I've only got like 60,000 so I think I'm going to build the Pro Skaters Dream Pad which is I don't think it's a house I've ever built before to be honest for 26 lifestyle points and then we probably will continue doing this quest with Pewds and we will add a new sim in on the next episode I think once this house is all built and everything. Maybe this episode we'll see how it goes. Let's just go ahead and start building that now. Are you sure? 
We just finished talking to the unicorn. Oh, we got one of those LPs back after talking to the unicorn. That was nice. Go home and call a friend. The unicorn didn't speak in the way that most sims do, but spoke of candy and rainbows. Your sim needs to tell their friends about this immediately. Have them call a friend on the phone from home. Okay, I can't remember where Pewds lives, to be honest. He'll send him home and then see. Does he live in a field or does he have a, have a house? No, he doesn't have a house. He lives in our sort of uh, workshop for LPs and things. So we haven't got a phone over here. So let's go back out onto the map. We'll go over to the Neo Tokyo house where Rhett and Link live. Because that definitely has a phone. We'll bring PewDiePie over. There's the phone. Uh, what do they need to do? Call a friend? Call a friend for four minutes. Yeah, call a friend. As this is a let's play and not just sort of a walkthrough of the quest, I thought I would just give you a little rundown of what everyone's doing whilst Pewd is just on the phone. I would just give you a little look at what everyone is doing. So at the moment, I have got, I have just completed, in terms of hobbies, I have completed the fashion design hobby a few times now so I've won the hat and the outfits that you can get and now it's just going to be three LPs that I'll get when I do the fashion design hobby. I've got most of my sims at the moment doing the cooking hobby which is kind of a way that I do to get a lot of LPs because you get five LPs once you've gained the prizes from doing the cooking hobby you'll get five LPs each time you complete the cooking hobby and you can just do a one minute option so it's really quite quick and easy. I'm just trying to get everyone up to level six so we can get these last three so we can win the chopping boards and then just after completing the it's all going swimmingly I've just started the diving hobby with Stampy. I've only got one of the things at the moment he's just over in the swimming centre doing ten minute brief leaps and then we can win our diving boards but once we have done all the cooking hobby, I'm going to send, there's four diving boards over at the swimming centre, so I'm going to go ahead and send three more sims to go and do the diving hobby once the cooking one is done. Let's go ahead and just collect all of these. I'm not going to get anything new because they're still not on level six, which is what we need to get those last three. Call a friend completed. Next, call two sims to the stables. I've just made them all busy. That's about typical, isn't it? So call two sims to the stables. Now that your sims friend knows about the unicorn, they can't wait to see you. Bring two of your sims to the stables. Okay, so we'll have to wait until... Is everybody busy? Yep, everyone's busy. So we'll just go ahead, go back to the cooking, wait for someone to finish, and then we can go over to the stables. When I previously did this quest, you had to bake Rocky Road. I'm going to go ahead and just get someone baking Rocky Road, just in case that comes up again. Even though I think these uh, these quests have changed. I'm going to go ahead and bake Rocky Road because it takes 12 hours, so that might save us some time. So go ahead and do that. Oh, congratulations on trying your new line of organic recipes. Organic products are well known for generating high returns, however they can catch fire. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take everyone over to the stables because I have a feeling that I should have cleared away those other two areas. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now as well. Let's bring Pude, let's just bring... Right, call two sims to the stables, that's completed. We'll continue bringing everyone over. Laugh with a sim. The unicorn is gone. Your sim uncovered up the your sim covered up the embarrassment of the unicorn's absence by telling their friend that it hoofed it. Have your sims laugh together at this hilariously bad joke. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pewds and Link can laugh with sim for thirty seconds. So whilst they're doing that, let's go ahead and bring everyone over. And unlock, so the tricks hobby gate. So this takes one hour and 30 minutes, which I am going to go ahead and use an LP for. This is the horse tricks paddock. Once it's been cleared and fixed, you can teach horses to bow, say hello, or even give your sims a kiss. Because I think we have to do that one. Oh, we can do them both. No, that's okay. Laugh with Sim is now completed. The next thing, investigate a tree. Now that your sims have finished drying their eyes from the unicorn joke, one of them has spotted something sparkly in one of the trees near the lake. Have a sim investigate a tree near the lake at the stables. Okay, so let's get 
Pudes. Investigator Tree. See, this used to take like eight hours to do, definitely. Investigate, two minutes and 12 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that. There's an exclamation mark, so if you can't find it, it makes it slightly easier for you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unlock these two areas because I am pretty sure that we need to have these done. I might be wrong, but it does no harm. So this takes, this is a horse hop, this is the Trix Hobby Gate. It takes one hour and 30 minutes. Um, once it has been cleared and fixed, you can teach horses to bow, say hello, or even give your sims a kiss. So let's go ahead and repair. I'm going to use an LP for that. And let's go ahead and click. There we go. Your town is now worth 641,000. Okay, so once it is open, congratulations, your sims got the gate fixed and now they must clear out all the rocks, tree stumps and weeds. Select a sim, then tap on a clearable to move it. Okay, so we've got to clear all these up, so there's going to be loads of different things. Go ahead and click on the exclamation marks. There's, I definitely recommend with these things, like always, bring as many sims over as you've got to spare and just get them all busy working on clearing the area. Investigating a tree is finished. The next thing, talk to a sim about unicorn. Hmm, the tree has some kind of glitter in it. This can be, this can only be the work of a unicorn, but your sim doesn't know where it went. Time to get some help. Talk to another sim about the unicorn. Okay, so everyone else is busy over there, but Cupquake can come over and talk about unicorns is one minute 30 seconds everything is really quick with this quest they finished having their little chat about the unicorn now the next thing to do is look up unicorns on a computer your sim hasn't seen the unicorn but did suggest checking the internet for more clues have your sim look up unicorns on the computer okay so i think we will head over to let's go back to Rhett and Lynx. they've got a i think they've got a three-star computer so Pewds, yeah, three star computer. So look up unicorns. That takes 15 minutes to do that. He can get that started. We finished up. Oh, Pewds has finished looking up unicorns on the computer. The next thing we need to do is to talk to a sim about shy unicorns. According to the wondrous internet, unicorns are magical creatures that like to meet people but are also terribly shy. Have your sim ask another sim about how unicorns cope with shyness. Okay. Um, we'll we'll head back over to the stables, I think, and then see. We'll bring Pewds over and can ask Zoella. Talk about shy unicorns over in the top right. Two minutes thirty seconds. There we go. Talk to a sim about shy unicorns. Completed. Read Pooping Rainbows. Your sim's friend saw a great book on the subject of unicorns. It also had a special chapter all about shyness. Check it out. Go read Pooping Rainbows. It's in a bookshelf. Okay, so let's get Zoe... Oh, remove seven hours. She can do that one. And we'll get Pewed over back to Rhett and Link's house, I think. And he can read Pooping Unicorns uh, bookshelf. Here we go, this is a three star bookshelf and read Pooping Rainbows, there we go, on the left hand side is seven minutes and 12 seconds to do that. What a story, what a book title, I mean, Pooping Rainbows. I have just been looking guys and I've realised that the next quest coming up is the Inder Clubhouse quest where we need a toddler to complete that quest and at the moment, as you know, we haven't got a toddler, we've only got Emily Zalfi. So, to age up Emily, we do need a birthday cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Did I bring Stampy over? I can't remember who I brought over. But I'm going to start baking a birthday cake, take, a birthday cake. Because that takes 24 hours. It takes a whole day to make. And we need the toddler for the next quest. So that is five LPs. Let's go ahead and we will do that now. Because we want to have our toddler ready for that quest. And Pewd has finished reading about Pooping Rainbow, so we'll go over there. That is all finished. The next thing, talk to a sim about the unicorn. According to the book, Pooping Rainbows, unicorns love to jump. What if the unicorn was waiting at the stables because it loves show jumping, but your sims came and scared it away? Perhaps they can coax it back with some sort of food. Talk to another sim about what unicorns eat. 
all my sims are busy clearing up this area so um let's have a look who's got the quickest hmm i think i will cupcake i will speed up cupcake with a cupcake i will speed up cupcake with a cupcake no not with a cupcake with a lifestyle point and then we'll go and talk to her about unicorns that takes one minute and 30 seconds there we go, they finished their little chat about a unicorn. The next thing we need to do, oh, here we go, so bake Rocky Road. Your Sims friend had the answer, unicorns eat Rocky Road, of course. Bake some Rocky Road to lure the unicorn with. So we have got that started over, over in our little kitchen. We've still got 10 hours and 32 minutes on that, so we've only saved ourselves like an hour and a half doing it, but... Never mind, it still saved us a little bit of time and we've got ages on the quest left anyway. It's three days, we're sort of 61% through, um, so we're, we're doing well. So we'll just wait until our rocky road has finished cooking. I've just done something pretty daft. I just recorded the next part of this quest and I hadn't hit my record button, which was pretty daft of me. But what I have done is the rocky road finished being baked and then all we had to do was to call a sim over to the stables and then we had to go over here to the show jumping area and leave the rocky road for the unicorn which took 12 seconds and then we've just had to come over here by the lake and hide behind this tree waiting for the unicorn to arrive and that was 12 hours and 30 minutes i don't even know i'm so annoyed i looked at my screen i was like why i didn't hit record <laughs> never mind i've just been talking to myself for the past couple of minutes yeah, but also what I have done is I have just, oh, this is almost finished. The uh, tricks, the tricks hobby uh, area is almost finished. And I have just started to build the vaulting hobby gate. That takes three hours to do. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start clearing that up with all my sims that are over here. And then obviously once that's done and I've unlocked the show jumping, I'm going to go ahead and clear up this area too. But sorry about that, guys. <laughs> little bit of the story missing there because I'm a fool. <laughs> I'll see you when we're finished hiding. Dan has finished waiting for the unicorn. It is kind of late now, but oh, we need to go ahead and have a deep sleep. Gasp! There's the unicorn, but it looks too shy to come out and eat the rocky road. Your sim thinks they should leave so the unicorn can eat in peace. Why not have them get a little rest whilst they're at it? Have your sim go and have a deep sleep in bed. That is kind of perfect. Let's, does Dan still live in a field? I think Dan does still live in a field. We'll go and see if he does. Oh no, I've completely forgotten that we built this, um, kind of the Treoris's lab thing for him. The science, what is this house called? I can't remember what this house is called. Um, but we've built this house for him so he can go ahead and have a deep sleep which is kind of appropriate because it is sort of 10 o'clock at night so go and have a deep sleep is uh, 6 hours and 30 minutes and this is a 3 star bed so that's the quickest you can do it Dan has finished his deep sleep next go to the stables great a good sleep is just what your sim needed oh wait the unicorn I wonder how it's doing Back to the stable, so I think everyone is still over at the stable, so we'll just go ahead and click on someone. Yep, there we go, task complete, go to the stables. Read the note, oh look, the unicorn left, and he ate the rocky road, and he unlocked the show jumping gate. Wow, is that a note near the gate? Have a sim, read the note near the show jumping gate. X marks the spot. Okay, uh, Dan, come back over, and... X, read the note takes one minute. Okay, so whilst uh, they've been having the deep sleep, I have clear, completely cleared the horse tricks and the horse vaulting area, which we can go ahead and repair. So this one is five hours. And can we do both of them at the same time? I think we can repair this one for eight hours. So they will be, we'll be able to start the hobbies once they are completed finished reading the note the next repair the show jumping gate the note was from the unicorn it said thank you for the rocky road in return i've unlocked the show jumping gate i must overcome my shyness but i will be i will return when the time is right 
Incredible. <laughs> Tap the show jumping gate and then repair it, okay? So the show jumping gate takes eight hours. It costs 50,000. Yikes, I haven't got 50,000. I'm going to have to go and get some more money. Uh, this is the show jumping paddock. Once it has been cleared and fixed, you can teach your horse to leap over hurdles with grace and poise. So I am about 8,000 short of the 50 that I need to do that. So I'm going to go and make some money. And then I'll be back to fix it. I've saved up enough money, so let's go ahead and start this now. So eight hours it's going to be. Here we go, get that started. Our new house is built for our new sim, so let's go ahead and add our next YouTuber sim. So again, requested by quite a lot of people. This is a, a gamer YouTuber and plays quite a lot of Minecraft and sims and things, and it's a girl. So make your guesses down in the comments now who it's going to be. Here we go. So can you guess who it is just by the look? Probably not. Hair might give it away. But it is um, LD Shadow Lady. Loads of people requested LD Shadow Lady and Smallish Beans. But I don't know. We'll see if we add Smallish Beans later on. But for now, I'm not going to add him. So let's go ahead and add LD. I've called her Lizzie Shadow Lady because I just thought LD was kind of sounded like a bit of a daft first name so Lizzie Shadow Lady let's go ahead and add her to the town now I think she maybe will do the next quest and here we go there she lives in the skater pad nice so we have finished fixing the gates let's go ahead and click on that now and there we go, repair the show jumping gate. Oh, we've got an LP for doing that. And yay, we finished the quest. Congratulations, you followed the rainbow teaching of the unicorn. And in turn, you've gained access to the show jumping area for your sims. And then because we completed it within the limited time, you've gained access to the most sparkly rainbow charged rocking horse of all. A unicorn rocking horse. Cool, That's I think that's for toddlers to use. I'll have to go ahead and check that out in a second. But the next quest that becomes available to us now is the In the Clubhouse quest, which says, Not that long ago, in a magical place far, far away, a toddler dreamed of a playhouse where they could have where they could have make-believe adventures. But let's go ahead and check out our limited time prize from completing this quest. So the limited time prize that we want, the Rock and Horse, can be found in the toddler section of the home store. And it's over here, this, it's 1,500 simoleons. So I'll just go ahead and place one down. I haven't got a toddler at the moment that we can check it out with. But there it is. Pretty cute. We'll have a look at it in the next episode, I think. When, we've got a, when we age Emily up into a toddler, we're going to have a look at the interactions that we can do with the rock and horse. But there you go, guys. That completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it has helped you with the quest. Remember that you need to go ahead and bake a birthday cake uh, so you can age up your baby into a toddler in the next quest. And as usual, comment down below your favourite YouTubers so I can go ahead and add them in the town. And thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!